All right, guys, welcome to the casting car. So, of course, always have the Starbucks. We got a venti iced coffee, one shot of espresso, um, light ice. That's it. Good stuff right there. And I put about one tablespoon of heavy cream in here, and I put a little bit of this Splenda Stevia Natural. It's called Zero Aftertaste. I know all of those motherfuckers say they have no aftertaste, and then they have an aftertaste. So this actually does not have an aftertaste. Why do I feel like I've said this all in another video before? I definitely have. I'm having like deja vu. I'm mentally challenged. I need an oil change. My car needs an oil change too. Good thing I'm right across the street from a Valvoline. Parking for diner patrons only. I'll get Bertha to give me an oil change later if you know what I mean. I'm gonna try out some high bar squats today. Uh, see how it goes I, I i am really i really need to commit to that transition from low bar to high bar for the sake of back health and if i want to i probably said this before but if i want to continue progressing you know can't you just can't keep injuring yourself and expect to progress or hit prs you gotta you gotta switch things up you know definition of insanity i think doing the same thing over is that actually the definition of insanity i gotta look that up i'm gonna fact check that i think that's fake news definitely is but um anyway so i'm gonna go do a leg workout so my split right now is more of a traditional bodybuilding type split um but still kind of focused around the main powerlifting movements so today will be centered around the high bar squat I'll have one that's centered around the deadlift, but then it'll be a plenty of accessories. It is like 90 degrees here on October 2nd in New York. This has got to be some sort of record, I think. It is like, it actually feels like mid-August right now. The high bar felt pretty good, kind of, the back kind of loosened up as the workout progressed. That kind of happens sometimes, you guys can probably relate to that, or if you've had back issues, like, I started on, like, maybe a couple of my warm-ups, it felt a little tight, even though I weren't warmed up pretty thoroughly, and then, you know, by the time I was doing quad extensions, uh, the GHR after doing that, it started to loosen up, feel pretty lubricated, and um so it, it started to feel pretty good after that and so that's good hopefully but hopefully you can start feeling better a little bit earlier but i did really like the way the high bar felt even though it was so light so that's uh that's an encouraging sign i feel like i did a much better job of sitting back into these than I used to with the squat, um, trying to rebuild some or re or ingrain some better habits. I should say, uh, I used to kind of let my knees travel way too forward. You see today, I may be kind of exaggerating sitting back into it a little bit, but, uh, I would let those knees travel very far forward. And then it kind of caused this little bit of like, almost like the butt would shoot up first. It just wasn't very sound technique and it ended up actually placing more stress on my lower back. Um, you usually think, you know, knees forward, more upright, therefore less stress on the lower back, but it was kind of creating a movement at the bottom of the squat that was putting more pressure on the spine. So by sitting back into it, I can kind of create the spine angle and then maintain it uh, throughout the whole movement. A little of this almond milk, one tablespoon of overpriced almond butter, a couple scoops of whey, a little bit of this and we're good to go. I hope you enjoyed it. Trying to put out as many videos as I can document as much as possible with training and whatnot. So until next time, I will see you. That doesn't really make sense. I'll see you in the next video.